and reframe where appropriate. You know, so reframing is a situation where someone says, um, look, you know, my, my, my friend got better returns than, than I did. It's like, yeah, look, you know, there's always risk reward and the bottom line is if you're prepared to take more risk, then you get more reward, but you also suffer more downside if you get it wrong. So I've just reframed my friend got better returns into, hey, I'm happy to discuss risk and reward. My portfolio is down this month. Yeah, look, you know, it's part of volatility and we had that volatility discussion. If you, if you want no volatility, then you put your money in the bank and you get 1% to 3% on it if you're lucky. If you want higher returns than that, we need to suffer the ups and the downs of the market because we realise that it doesn't go like that, it goes up and down. Um, I'm not covered for that in my insurance. It's like, yeah, absolutely. Listen, you know, insurance, when we talked about the cost of your insurance, we, we had a really robust conversation about the fact that, you know, you're only ever going to get the cover that you're willing to pay for and that, you know, every dollar you saved meant that you weren't likely to be covered for something else. So, um, you know, Dean, this was a discussion and a decision that was made back there. We can't change it now that an event's occurred. Um, or maybe someone says, I can't believe how much my insurance costs. It's like, yeah, Dean, as we get older, it costs more. And the bottom line is the reason we want to get it in place is because the older you get, the more it's going to cost you to cover yourself and the more likely it is that basically you're going to have an ailment that will not be able to be covered. So look, the bottom line is reframing is a powerful strategy, but you've got to think it through and you've got to execute it effectively.